joining me. This is another preview of two great free apps from Classroom Focus Software. Let's start with Domino Add. In Domino Add, you have some number identification skills, great for the younger grades. Let's dismiss that right there. Dominoes pop up on the screen and you identify the number. That's fantastic. Press the button up here to get the next one in the series. As always, they pack a lot into the gear right up here, a lot more options to scale this up to your higher grades. So you can go with larger sets of numbers, of course. You can make the numbers add up to larger amounts. And then there's this mystifying option where you can show and then hide the dots on the dominoes. I'm going to set that to a medium speed so you get a sense of how that works. Makes it more challenging for your upper grade kids. And then yes or no to automatically moving on to the next number in the series. Dismiss this. And we'll go back to our game. So we ask for the next piece. I press the puzzle piece. Next domino. And now you see they've disappeared. And the only way I can get them to reappear is by pressing one of my number choices. So if I get stumped and I can't find it fast enough, it will disappear and I have to press what I thought it was and it will reappear again briefly so that I can try to get it correct. Let's move on to a different app. That one is worth trying. Let's do count and sort. Count and sort. All right, dismiss their message, count to sort. We press the puzzle piece again, and out comes a dot. We can count that, and then we can sort that into boxes, and they can be sorted and counted into two piles. Not very exciting with one, but then you can start adding in more, and so you can have kids organize those and possibly put them into different equations. So we can look at five as a total of four plus one, 3 plus 2, 2 plus 3, 1 plus 4, and 0 plus 5. There's four different versions of this game. We can count up, which looks something like this. Press the puzzle piece. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we guess the correct number. That's how that one works. You can modify that in the settings to say three choices have more options in the multiple choices on the side you can go to larger numbers let's go into estimate this time you throw out a bunch of chips and your estimating is a 3 8 or 14 next looks like four next and let's go to some larger numbers. All right, let's see the last version of it, 10 frames. I'm going to go to larger numbers, maximum of 25. And of course, there's different options to change around the color of the chips um, and the minimum number of chips. I'll say 10 this time. And let's see what the 10 frames looks like puzzle piece and it throws in a number and we give it back and answer. All of these games will be great as one partner works with another, as a older student from an upper grade works with a younger grade uh, to keep them in check, make sure they're not just going through and pressing buttons until they get the right one. Thank you, I hope this was helpful.